are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for Black and White Sports. And let's talk about Candace Owens. She come out last night on the Mark Levin show and she destroyed LeBron James. As you guys know, my our regular subscribers, and thank you all to uh, the new subs, old subs, LeBron James is public enemy number one on this channel. We believe he's preaching a false narrative, which we believe he is a dangerous voice. We believe he has influence over the weak-minded. I made a video yesterday where I feel like he is in large part responsible directly. He's got blood on his hands for those two L.A. County uh, deputies that got shot yesterday. Why? Because he could be preaching the correct narrative. But he's too damn ignorant. And he decided to follow the direction of Hollywood, celebrities, and everybody else. He could have changed the whole sports landscape. And he chose to go the other way like a damn coward. He's a liar. He goes out there and, and, and fans the flames of oppression, systematic racism, basically everything that's not true and that the leftists and CNN and MSNBC have been feeding the left and the black community for years. They've used black people. Uh, the left always has. They've tokenized them. There's no greater uh, example of that than Joe Biden. Well, let's look at what Candace Owens has got to say about LeBron James. Bam. The book is Black Out by Candace Owens. The subtitle is How Black America Make Its Second Escape from the Democrat Plantation. Candace Owens, let me ask you this. We hear a lot from LeBron James and these very, very wealthy athletes and uh, commissioners of the NFL and the NBA and, again, very wealthy individuals in Hollywood, both white and black, who do not live in these communities they claim to... Uh, to be defending and uh, the so-called revolution they claim to be promoting. What do you make of these folks? Um, you know, I, I'm always speaking out against these people, especially LeBron James. I mean, this is a man that lives in a $100 million mansion in Bel Air. And I always say, if you're suffering through racism, please give me some of that. Uh, he's got a white gardener, a white chef, <laughs> all various white people that work for him, a white driver. Um, so if, if that's racism, LeBron, please, please share some of that with the rest of us. So that's right. She basically come out and said something we've said. Look, bucko, you're talking about being oppressed. You live in a $100 million mansion. And for some reason, a bunch of your fans are too ignorant to see that. You live in a $100 million mansion. You're preaching about systematic racism. I mean, it's ludicrous. It's insane. I mean, it's amazing that fans don't st take a step back and go, what is this guy talking about systematic racism living in a $100 million mansion? And he's out there fanning the f flames of Breonna Taylor, George Floyd. Look, Breonna Taylor wasn't in innocent at all. He is out there working up everybody. Now he's, he's coming out and he's trying to co-sign on Joe Biden. I'm telling you, LeBron James is positioning himself to run for squad politics, which is essentially an extreme left side of the Democratic Party where you start seeing a lot of these Black Lives Matter folks trying to run for politics like Cori Bush in St. Louis. And Candace Owens, she tells it like it is. She is a conservative black woman breaking narrative. We love that. We love to see uh, conservative blacks break narrative because I understand it takes courage. When, you're, when you come out as a conservative in the black community, you're ostracized. You might as well come out as gay, transgender. I shit you not. That's exactly how it is looked at. You're considered an Uncle Tom. She was in the documentary that Larry Elder and Justin Malone did, Uncle Tom, by the way. Your boy is on Larry Larry Elder's channel giving a review. Larry Elder put me on there. Thank you, Larry Elder. Um, but look, she's got a uh, an, a uh, 
She's also got an organization with Brandon Tatum. I think it's called Blexit. And it's uh, ex-Democrats that came over to the conservative side. And uh, also, there's a lot of black Americans involved in that. And it's what she has done is really, really impressive in her career. She is unafraid, and she comes out hitting. And she comes out destroying narratives. And she came out this time, and she went after LeBron James, what I consider the most dangerous voice in sports. Very interesting. Candace Owens come out and said, if you're suffering through racism, please give me some of that. She tells it like it is. She hit LaWoke James right in the mouth. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.